shit, we're going. Thank you. Merge onto Pennsylvania Turnpike W. Everyone's in a hurry today, goodness. Ooh, you know what? I should probably sanitize before we do this. For 57 miles, continue straight on. Ah, no, 57 miles, straight home. Let's go. What's up, being cold? Happy Sunday. Hi, Dave. I splurged, guys, and I didn't mean to splurge. This lunch cost me $18, everybody, at the service plaza. And all they had was Roy Rogers. Oh, awesome, Dave. Well, thanks for coming and saying hello. Josh is all like, oh, I'm going to go play skills. I'm like, bullshit, you are. I'll be like, I'm going live. Hello, Leslie. Odds are I'll probably come in and talk as me, and then I'm going to have to smack the crap out of him. But yeah, yeah. So I just got on the turnpike, and I needed to stop pee, get gas, and food. So that's what I did. So now we're going to kick it on here. I should be home by 345. So we've got a little under two hours. So it's not too bad. It's a beautiful day for driving today. So yeah, I got chicken tenders and a spicy chicken sandwich with bacon. They charged me over $2 for bacon. So that bacon better be the shit. So we'll find out. I don't, I didn't have a hangover, Ian, believe it or not. I am the type of person that doesn't get hangovers. I had some water before bed last night. I even polished it off with the Bloody Mary this morning. Josh is like, oh, we have to get coffee. I'm like, hell no. But, eh. I'm gonna give it a review. Plus, I got the sandwich. Plus, I got the tenders. So yeah, it's like a little muck bag. Because I gotta let you guys know, not only was I not home to do a a Sunday in the park. Next Sunday, I won't have a Sunday in the park either because I'm going to Boston. So I was just like, oh my gosh. Mm. Do you have a question? Go ahead, shoot. I've got two hours, so go ahead and shoot. Shoot. Yeah, $18. They charged me over $2 for bacon, Paul. So I'm splurging. I'm taking care of myself. I mean, I used comps all day yesterday. So, okay. Okay. You know, you got your chicken tendas. You got to do the trailer trash, Tammy. And okay. They didn't give me any sauce, though. Um, there might not be a coupon video next week either. I was going to go to CVS, but look at the deals. They suck. So I just decided not to. Or when I get home, if you saw mom playing with her child, what? What would you do if you saw a mom playing with her child with her? Like what? Like PA skills? Mm-hmm. Okay. They're bragging about how, but these are not, these have been sitting there for hours, I think. But I waited like 10 minutes for the food because they were not that fast. And then the guy working, he literally told me to take my time. I'm like, I got places to be skills. I wouldn't say anything. I mean, that's the store owner at that point to be on their shit, but. What up, Jen? I know, Paul, I got you, buddy. Tomorrow's your day. You and Zach. You get to our night. It's tasty. It's it's a little moist. You found free bonus on Graveyard Full Bonus 60. Oh, a 14X, of course. I mean, it's not okay, but would I, like, ride them out or anything? Probably not, no. Uh, Oh shit, I forgot it's 70 and I'm going 65 in the hammer lane. They're probably like, what is this guy doing? So I don't know. I, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to get in a coupon video either, be cool, because we'll probably leave for Boston by the time they open. So I am on the turnpike. 208. It's not bad. I have not won it. I haven't won anything on that game yet. Okay, these are actually pretty good. I'm gonna give the chicken tender review an eight out of ten. Um, 
it's got a nice spreading. You have CV oh, you know CVS in Boston, that's true. But if it's anything like the last trip, we'll get there, drop our bags, and go to the casino, probably. Because that's like, that's me and mom's thing. Dad's not a big fan of it, but he'll go with us. But, I don't know. We'll see. Which actually, yeah, there's a CVS within walking distance, but, nah. Yeah, I don't know. I was, yeah, I, for, I totally forgot that. Yeah, I was going away this weekend, and then next weekend, it totally screws up my whole schedule. No, this isn't Arby's. This is Roy Rogers. Which generally I'm not a big fan of. We're going to try the chicken sandwich here. I, want, I, want, I really didn't want fries. But I'm like, I wanted something more than the chicken sandwich. So, yeah, you know, keto be damned. Mm -hmm. You know what I had it? Well, you guys saw some of my live stream. But I think Josh did. I was suited last night. But... Yay, Josh, it's ATM. So I was trying to reach for the gravy, and then my wine glass fell, and it was all over the floor. They ended up taking that off my check. They took off the shrimp cocktail, even though they gave me crab cocktail, which was actually pretty damn good. Um, so my difference on my diamond dinner paid for their wine glass and the crab. To be fair, I cashed out ahead, too. I'm no Papa Josh, but, yeah. I have to go to the ATM to deposit money as well. All that skill money that I won, I pretty much took into Atlantic City and played all day yesterday, and I still have it, so. I'm gonna be a good boy and put it in the bank. Okay, so we did a chicken dinner. I still have two more of those, but I think we're going to try some of the sandwich as well. I was going to get a burger, but the last time I had their burgers, plus because of COVID, they don't have the fixin' bar, so, and that's where it's at. So, again, I paid an extra, what, $2 for bacon, but Papa Josh has been heavy. I know. We know Papa Josh. JP would be happy and proud of you. It smells good. It's spicy chicken. So we'll see how long this has been sitting in the drawer. Okay, okay, look at Okay, you see the bacon? You see that bacon in there? Or some cheese? I forget what cheese it is, but... I've played like 10 Ikabu and I've won shit. Nothing. So yeah. I played 60 bucks worth yesterday and I got back. How much did I get back? 40, I think. Right, so I gotta go catch those in as well. So I'm gonna make a puff run later. JP got smacked. Uh oh. Okay, let's try the chicken sandwich. It's supposed to be spicy. But Josh said last night before, what it, I, well, it's very disrespectful what many things that Josh says. I'm sorry. Josh, it was disrespectful. Apologize. What? I know, it's up, Angel. Okay, I gotta try the sandwich. Wish me luck, guys. I forgot to tell you that on the tenders. I'm gonna judge it on spice level. He said that you do not like any of us. That doesn't surprise me. One here too. So there's a sauce, you know. I uh, know, but it's Sunday. You can't get Chick-fil-A on Sunday. Okay, okay. I mean, this cost me $18, but...
Like, maybe it didn't even need the bacon, but I felt like it said with bacon. I didn't realize I was paying two fucking dollars for bacon. Says the guy who paid nothing for his food all yesterday, but still. Say it. It was all fancy, I was, yeah, it was good. Hell no! Josh was poor half the time. Absolutely, Cheryl, you do the same. I love you all. Don't listen to Josh. So, Amy, this cost me $18. I got a three-piece tender, and then I got this spicy chicken sandwich with bacon. The tenders, I gave an 8 out of 10. The chicken sandwich, I'm still trying to figure it out. I like it. It's got, like, a little spicy sauce on it, but... No, at 18 frickin' dollars. So, <laughs> but if you listen to Josh, though, he's poor and he don't have money for the cab fare or anything like that. I have not got the Travis Scott burger, no. Oh, what's up, Brad? Do you give me like six bucks? I did, but the pictures didn't load bolt. I've been having issues on my iPhone. Hey, what's up, Dominique? Yeah, it was a good time. We gambled late last night. We were like, I don't think, oh, that's right. Then we took the cart ride, which was fun. That guy was a blast. It was only 15 bucks, but I gave him 25 because he was fun. Yeah. But no, I haven't gotten a Travis Scott burger, but it's all about the spicy nugs these days. And I don't even know who he is. He's some rapper dude or something. I know, that guy was fun. Okay. Well, the sandwich, the sandwich is very... It's spicy, but it almost tastes like super salty. So right now it's only on the six out of 10. Travis Scott's not a country singer, is he? I don't freaking know. I mean, shit. The spicy nugs, I was so underwhelmed. The flavoring was blah, but the chicken. Yeah, it's all about the, the mighty sauce with it was good, but they're good. I liked it. Like, it is, you could say it's underwhelming and underrated. Yeah. I found Buffalo this morning, Angel. I had to bet $2 to spin and I got like a $148 bonus. Was the last thing and I just cashed out and got the hell out of there, so which was good. Oh, excuse me. to play life. No, they took life out of the Borgata. It's now some freaking Wizard of Oz. Okay, here's the tender, everybody. Tender.
Okay. It's very crispy. Walter, I know the. say that I'm going to be buffering, so we're going to the Bufferville, so what's up, Wesley? I just watched you guys like three times, so I might lose you again. I'll come back again, but there's like not a cloud in the sky, so my cloud cover theory, eh. Oh. Hey, you do you want it comes to the spicy nugs but the mighty sauce with the spicy nugs uh-huh they did that right but it's like so spicy that's the thing the spicy buffalo sauce it was good it was right there but you might as well just get the regular nuggets because like it overpowers the the spicy part of it so i found just eating the spicy nuggets almost by themselves maybe with a little ranch that, yeah. I was actually hoping that Service Plaza back there had McDonald's. It probably would have been a hell of a lot cheaper, too. I'm getting full pads. This is like a, almost like a mukbang. Like legit mukbang. Mukbang, as they call it. No pimp, I went on drunk lotto. Okay, what the hell? What's up, Becky? It is a lovely day out here for driving. I am now one hour and 36 minutes from home. I should be home at 3.45. 3.45. Now, we have a premiere video at 6. So that gives me two hours and 15 minutes. So I got, uh... At some point, I got to shave my head, take a shower, um, work on videos. I got to prep my my bacon. I gotta go to the store and get gas probably. I gotta go cash in my lottery tickets. I might go film a skill video. But some of that I might do after the premiere. Again, I'm not drinking tonight, so I can kind of go. I just have to be home by 8 o'clock because the new episode of 90 Day Fiance starts at 8. And I think this is the last week. It's the tell-all. No, next week's the tell-all. I'll miss that in Boston. I don't think I can get my dad to watch that. Am I? <laughs> the kid, dad. We're watching 90 Day Fiance tonight. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, there's that chicken sandwich again. Again, it's got a nice goose to it. Let's try it now. Hello, Michael. The sauce is kind of tangy. It's tangy on the spice. It's night here. Why is it day there? Where are you from? It's only two o'clock in the afternoon here. I'm in the Eastern United States. You're in Indonesia. Okay, there, that would be why then, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. How's Indonesia these days? It bad? How's the COVID treating you? I got a lot of people from foreigners that I say foreigners that are not from the United States. They always ask me like, "How's the COVID?" And I'm like, "It's okay." 
down. I don't know everybody out there. I might give this chicken sandwich a food review an 8 out of 10 as well. But let me finish it and then... Oh, shit. Look at my big Borgata water, everybody. We got this from the... I've been drinking my Borgata water forever, the whole time. They were only like two fifty for a big Borgata water. It probably comes out of the tap. What's up, OP? I've got an hour, about an hour and a half to go. Challenge of an actual breakfast. Yeah, I know. Caesar sucks. They said the only reason Gordon Ramsay is serving breakfast because Cafe Roma is closed. We were talking to the waitress because Josh asked, like, why don't you have, like, a true English breakfast? You know, if it's Gordon Ramsay, England. And the girl said, well, this menu, they kind of just put it together. Like, I guess Gordon Ramsay had nothing to do with it. It's just they're serving it there. I mean, what we had was good, but... We, me and Josh both kind of think that the sausage they gave us and our breakfast was like brown and serve kind of, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, but, and they, they wanted you to have reservations. I'm going to sell roadblocks to your BFFs. Okay. OP, I'm enjoying my $18 me. Oh, yeah, that bakery, everything's going price now. I mean, it wasn't bad between me and Josh both got breakfast. He got, like, espresso, and I got an orange juice. It was, like, 42 bucks, which isn't bad for two people for casino breakfast. I did, OP, I did. That's the cool thing. Hi, Autumn. Because, like, I went on this trip with all that money I went on skills. So, now that I actually went and had the time, now I can take that money and put it back in the bank. So, it's like a free trip. It was a free trip, and it cost me almost anything. You know, my biggest thing are going to be tolls and gas. But I am going home. Yes, I am... And then we have Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh coming up next month. And yeah. I was in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Right by the ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. I started my journey. Did I start my journey? I did. We left it. No. Yeah, we left at 11, I think. Like three hours. And then we had to stop at Wawa. Josh had to use the bathroom. And then he got me a pumpkin latte. A small one. It was pretty good. But all the pumpkin was at the bottom. I don't know. I still feel like this this chicken sandwich is salty. Like really salty. The spice not really spicy. But I like the cheese on the bottom. Now that kind of goes right there. But no, it was an up and down morning though. Like, I was up like 100 bucks and then I went and gambled some more. It might have to. I was originally giving it a seven OP, but I don't know. I mean, I paid $2 for the bacon. So if I don't finish this, I'm at least gonna eat the bacon and the cheese. But... Yeah, it I'm not ready to give my full review. Yet. I do like this turnpike though, because we hung out with CG Slaughters last night at Caesars or Harrah's, and they were razzing me for not getting a, a freaking easy pass. I'm like, I know I love this build to plate, but if I had an easy pass, that's pretty much what that would be. <laughs> so, like, I know. I ultimately should get one because when we go to Boston, I would save us a couple sands because they build your plate there. But
I mean, I'm gonna go six and a half out of ten. Hi guys, I give this food review a six and a half out of ten. The reason I am taking points off of it, pretty much as OP said, it's too salty. I mean, it's different than the chicken tender, but... Let's just try the bacon. Maybe it's the bacon. Oh, you have to pay a fee? Ah. Okay. 